Everyone, so the State of the Union address was last night. Reg, did you, did you happen to catch it? I totally did. Did you? <laughs> yes, yeah. I did. What, By was, what, was, what were your takeaways? My takeaway was that he sound, there were long stretches where yep. he pronounced things correctly mm. and said things in a tone that sounded like a normal person with mm. authority at yeah. times. Yeah. And that made me, that was like most of what I was hoping That was for. it. <laughs> well, let's dig into it. It's that time. It's time for the news. <laughs> and last night, President Biden gave the shortest State of the Union address since 2016, clocking in at one hour and two minutes. The, the shortest... I like this trend. I like it. Let's get it down. Let's get it down to one TikTok. Just save us all a bunch of time. Like... Should, if you ask me, everything should be shorter. If a movie comes in at 62 minutes, I'm like, best picture, done. <laughs> Like, when have you ever said to a friend, oh, when you, you know, oh, what did you think of that film? And they're like, oh, it was good. I, I, I wish it was a little bit longer. <laughs> Never hear it. According to a CNN instant poll, 41% of viewers had a very positive reaction to Biden's speech, which is the lowest in roughly 15 years. 41% said they were very positive. The other 59% said, whew, yeah, no, just thank God he got through it. <laughs> got through it. At one point in his speech, Biden spoke about the resolve of the Ukrainian people, but he appeared to say something else. Putin may circle Kyiv with tanks, but he'll never gain the hearts and souls of the Iranian people. Oh, no. Classic Biden. Say oh. it wrong, say it strong. <laughs> don't, even, don't even correct yourself. No. Don't even correct yourself. Plow through it. Done. <laughs> then Biden was like, listen, I'm, I'm a big picture guy. You know, I don't want to get caught in the minor details of this war, like, you know, which countries are fighting. <laughs> At another point in the speech, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer got confused about whether he was supposed to stand or not. Have a look. The American Rescue Plan... <laughs> the American Rescue Plan helped working people and left no one behind. See? That's why you have to show up to rehearsal. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't just ride it out. I don't know why he went back down. This was the problem. He stopped here. He stopped here, and you can't. You've got to be like, I'm up now. That's what Biden did. I just said Iranian. I know I said Iranian. I'm plowing through. He should have just gone. <laughs> F it. I'm in. Okay. I do you think people should give Chuck Schumer a break. He's only been in Congress for literally 40 years. <laughs> he looks like one of this show's writers trying to get an applause break for a joke that they wrote. moment last night, Biden was discussing war zones and something called burn pits, and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi had a rather odd reaction. Have a look. And our troops in Iraq have faced, in Afghanistan, have faced many dangers, one being stationed at bases breathing in toxic smoke from burn pits. <laughs> many of you have been what? there. What? <laughs> what the hell? I don't, I don't, I have watched that clip what? 17 times. <laughs> the only thing, conclusion I can come to is, like, people like what they like, and Pelosi <laughs> likes burn pits. Like... <laughs> what's, what is she... Is she happy she... that they brought it up? I, I don't uh... know. I just maybe... can't figure it out. Maybe... Watch it again. Look. From burn pits. <laughs> yes. Many of you have been here. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, get it. Man. She's trying to start a fire. Yeah. Maybe. I don't she, get it. She could have thought, thought that he said, like, Brad Pitt. I don't know. It's like... It looks a little bit like your girlfriend in high school, like, ooh, it's cold in here. So you give her your jacket. 
Well, it is. I do feel for whoever is the Speaker of the House and the, and the Vice President sitting there the entire time. That is... That's not comfortable. No. That is not comfortable. <laughs> but however uncomfortable I am, I cannot imagine myself <laughs> hearing the phrase burn pits, which are essentially <laughs> where they've burnt off toxic fumes that have poisoned the lungs of many members of the, of the military and being like, yeah! And far-right Republican lawmakers Lauren Boebert and Mar Marjorie Taylor Greene made faces and heckled Biden throughout the speech. Here they are here. Look at them there. Look, at they look like the real housewives of Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> they look like they're screaming at the manager of Chili's because they were just informed <laughs> that happy hour ended three minutes ago. <laughs> At another point, Biden spoke about his optimism for America, and the camera repeatedly cut to Republican Senator Mitch McConnell. Have a look. As hard as those times have been, I'm more optimistic about America today than I've been my whole life, because I see the future that's within our grasp. <laughs> look at that. Wow. Resting Mitch face. <laughs> yeah. I mean, thank God they didn't have to wear masks and cover up that thousand watt smile. <laughs> it does make more sense when you realize Mitch McConnell just put his body on standby mode to conserve energy. <laughs> At one point, Biden talked about ordering antiviral treatments for COVID 19, and he had this to say I've ordered more pills than anyone in the world has. <laughs> More pills than anyone? Than anyone? Yep. Here for the Late Late Show rebuttal, the band. <laughs> and Biden ended his speech with some dramatic flair, but it was unclear exactly who he was referring to in his final line, because there was no mention of any specific person in his closing remarks. Have a look. As one people, one America, the United States of America. God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. Thank you. Go get him. What? What? God, man, I missed a lot. Sorry, uh, who? Go get who? Mike Pence was watching from home and was like, not again, what did I do this time? <laughs> and that, that's the news. Now, go get him! We'll be right back, everybody.